This morning we're at the Stalin Line Museum just outside Minsk and from the outside it looks super impressive so without any further procrastination let's go check it out. few rounds fired off the echoing in the distance <laughs> but it should be pretty interesting uh, entry was about 14 rubles per person uh, so it's around 12 Australian dollars nine US dollars plenty of things to see here in photograph they've got tanks amphibious vehicles radar equipment missiles attack helicopters you name it it's here so in this hut behind me, you can actually fire some of these weapons. They've got some pretty hardcore looking weapons on what appears to be a 50 caliber machine gun. And there's actually a tank in the field behind it that you can shoot at. It appears you can also shoot rounds from a tank. There doesn't appear to be any limitations on what you can do here. I've got entire Russian tank battalions over here and this impressive uh, rocket launcher just behind me here. And this is just a minuscule sample of what's on display here. And uh, just here they've got the BM-21 launch vehicle. Name. Russian name, Katyusha. It's just a local gentleman over here helping me with the pronunciation of the names of some of the equipment here. This is a 23mm self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. I uh, just fired a couple of rounds from the tank over there, it's extremely loud and uh, it's not really what you want <laughs> echoing in your ears when you're not expecting it but um, massive flame discharging from the cannon Each um, 203 millimeter self-propelled gun with a firing range of 37 kilometers Each shell weighs over 100 kilos as well so we're just going to head up into the other section of the museum now and get away from the indiscriminate firing going on up there. Looked a bit dangerous actually with uh, the, uh, there's actually a road over there and there isn't any mounds of dirt or anything to stop the projectiles. So if you miss the target, who knows where it's going to end up. It seemed, the explosion seemed to come out of a canister at the tank they were aiming at. Pretty impressive uh, strategic SAM rocket system behind me there. Got an intercontinental ballistic missile there. We've got some radar systems up here. So see the antennas mounted on the back. We've got this, this one here. Now uh, that one's actually written in Russian. So. Really tell what that says, but this one here says a it's a mobile radio altimeter altimeter PRV 13. There's a detection range uh, that's in height of uh, 310 kilometers. That's the tank that they're firing up there. <laughs> so we had to get away from that, it's just too loud for my liking. Yeah. Someone shooting the rifle, I mean, that's an M1 Garand. Got a 
<coughs> tactical ballistic missile or touch KU. Look at this beast. Super impressive. Yeah, in comparison to the other cities in Eastern Europe that have military equipment on display, I thought the one in Sofia was pretty impressive, but this one here on the outskirts of Minsk is by far the most impressive one that I've seen. Radar equipment here. So if you're like me and all things military might not be your cup of tea, um, as I've said before, I consider myself more of a pacifist, I'm not really into war at all, but I still find uh, visiting a place like this extremely impressive and uh, certainly well worth the visit. Um, to get here from Minsk you will need to hire a car, uh, we did so from Minsk airport, uh, it's probably about a half an hour drive out of Minsk, but um, yeah, it's certainly an ideal way to kill a couple of hours. <clears throat> Got a fast trench digging machine. Got this one here, combat emplacement excavator. There's another one. Got a road to bat two. And then this one here is a track mine layer, GMZ2. Uh, <clears throat> engineer reconnaissance vehicle. Sure. Impressive. And a bridge layer MT55. Well, we're just heading over here to the hangar now where there's supposedly some uh, still fully operational uh, World War II tanks. The memorial over here to Mr. Lennon, and uh, just at the entrance to the hangar now. Here we go. There's an, quite a number of pieces of equipment along the perimeter here. All right, next stop on the tour is we're going to head over and have a look at the aircraft now. They've got some attack helicopters over there and a couple of fighter jets. Two seventeen M three, maximum speed of two thousand two hundred and thirty kilometers an hour. Big twenty five RB. This bad boy has a top speed up to three thousand kilometers an hour. This is an armored personnel carrier. Troop carrying helicopter, MI eight MT. Look at these blades. Combat helicopter, MI-24V. Just like the one we saw in Bulgaria. This little one is an MI-2, which is meant for conducting intelligence and fire support of ground forces on the battlefield. This is a MiG-23, with a maximum speed of 2,445 kilometers an Alright guys, that concludes our visit to the Stalin Line Museum here in Minsk. 
hope you've enjoyed the video see you next time